In this problem, we're going to simplify the square root of negative 256. So the first step in a problem like this is to deal with this negative in the root. So whenever you have a negative in the root like this, you want to automatically turn it into an i. So this is i square root of 256. Now the square root of 256 is 16. So this is equal to i times 16. But i times 16, well, no one really puts the i in the front. So this is really 16 i. And that would be the answer. However, a better way to do this would be as follows. Whenever you see the negative in the square root, you know there's going to be an i there. And then the square root of 256 is 16. So again, you look at it, you say, okay, there's going to be an i because there's a negative in the square root. And the square root of 256 is 16. Therefore, the answer is 16i. This is much more effective and much simpler than this method here because in more complex problems, this will just clutter your problem and actually make it harder. So you want to be able to get to this point here. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.